Mor hubisht ek ne gemen en gelach. Er is skrivig le real nation. Ne jawenen le Natasha Pilot. Er het er hingegrug le Morek Anna nicht neer. Disaster of the Highland Games by me, Riel Nason, with beautiful illustrations by Natasha Pilot, and the Gaelic translation is by Morag Anna McNeil. The Kate read down the Gaelach, Gach Shachkin on a glass, a son's can be a young sitcher. A Dorian have a cursed. Kate was a Highland dancer. She took classes each week so she could learn the proper technique. Young Sihi, a hortic and a hinyak, is Mara Luashuik e a cousin, Mara Lamegi Gusundach, is Kane Nogava Snasa. She learned to turn out and point. High pet and leap, assemble change change, and hot brush beep beep. First teacher Kate be mortal. How jishal or some doolin is it gaming and gale, sin yucher, ni yuchushit. Hord shorty Kate, oh, upper spores, nach evi kayet ma, le felic nina's pitchin, is cue green fault. Ah, Faravig, I can teach her. Femi to Viji Hilach, so via Jessica stay. Her sons can be in downsack at Homasa Yasa V. Who Kate of a bald Kudurka, a Haroy Lechos Orsel, a Sernish High, see it can tie, a dance Kutur Nahandrach. Kate's teacher thought she was ready for a new challenge to try. She said, you should compete at the Highland Games in July. Kate liked the idea. That sounded fun. She'd wear her kilt blouse and vest and her hair in a bun. But her teacher warned, you have to practice at home so you'll be prepared to dance your best when you get there. Kate promised she would. Then she discovered that dancing at home isn't as fun without others. Hello, Falcha Hulatunya. Hello, welcome everyone. Uh, and today I have with me the author of Disaster at the Highland Games and Mode Hupishtikna Gaiman and Kaelach, Riel Nason from New Brunswick. And she's just going to chat with us a little bit about this awesome book and how it came to be. So, how did you get the idea to write this book? Um, I thought that Highland Dancers needed to have a picture book because there just wasn't one out there um, that existed. My daughter Highland Dances, I teach Highland Dance, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to write, write one. So not only that audience, the dancers themselves would have a book, but also um, there are Highland Games definitely in New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and then further all across Canada, all across North America. So anyone reading the book, you kind of get a taste of all the different things that are going on at the Highland Games. And uh, really, I thought there was a spot for that book out there. That's why I wrote it. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, Highland Games are. They're very popular uh, across the Maritimes, across Atlantic Canada, and really across Canada as a whole. That's true. And North America. So and with the games being outdoor events, I think they've been able to recover a little bit faster since the since the start of the pandemic. So that's wonderful, especially for all the little dancers who yeah. are just wonderful. Uh, so now you mentioned that your daughter does Highland Dance. So can you uh, tell everyone a little bit more about your your family's experience with Highland Dance? Like what are all the, the different things you do? How long have you been doing it for? 
Um, I started dancing when I was 14, which is very, very, very late for a Highland dancer to start. But I grew up in a very small town and uh, friends who were in a pipe band knew a Highland dance teacher and asked if she'd like to come out to the town and teach dance lessons. So I take another dance lesson. So I sure I'll try Highland. And uh, so I began dancing at 14. Um, I danced for several years. Eventually, I got my associates, which is so I could teach Highland dance. And during university, I taught private Highland dance lessons and I still performed some. Um, but then when I was in my early 20s, I just thought that chapter of my life was over. Um, no more Highland dancing. But then um, probably eight, seven, eight years ago, uh, my daughter wanted to try Highland dancing. She saw Highland dancers at our community events our community event expo where people can sign up for different things and she knew that I had danced so it was her actually that decided she wanted to do it so knowing that I had and I just kind of went along with it okay I was completely disconnected from the Highland dance world at that point I really I didn't know how many dancers there still were in the province or what events went on but anyway she went the first year and then the next year and then she started competing and then slowly I got pulled back in <laughs> and then I uh, reactivated my status as a teacher and you know researched again and did some professional development so that I could teach and I teach part-time at our local Highland Dance School and yeah it's it's really it's a beautiful dance form um, the girls are absolute athletes you have to be so strong and have such wonderful um, stamina to Highland dance well and yes yeah, lovely been to lots of competitions um, and performances here in the Maritimes we went to Scotland in 2018 it's just it's wonderful, wonderful. yeah what did, did you go to Scotland for was it a competition or like an exhibition uh, we went to tour around but also we centered our trip around um, the Cowell Highland Gathering which is the World Highland Dance Championships Oh, so okay. we we went to that and several dancers from our school got to compete okay. um anyone anyone that's a premier level dancer can kind of compete in the the general um the general world championships and then they narrow it down eventually through heats and awards to get to the finals so fantastic oh that's really great so and now you are in new brunswick and i think as a province i think that uh People uh, don't realize that New Brunswick is is just as Scottish as Nova Scotia, right? It has large pockets of, of uh, you know, large settlements of people descended from Highlanders who settled there in the 18th and 19th centuries. Yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, there's lots of lots of Scottish heritage here. Um, I think in Nova Scotia, you probably see more events um or like more there's there's more dancers in nova scotia um and yeah more highland events in general but definitely in new brunswick we have them as well mm -hmm. yeah there's there's the uh, the what what would be the highland games closest to you i think there's i've seen the moncton highland games advertised the moncton highland games would be pretty close but um the new brunswick highland games in fredericton Oh, okay. um, that's been going and going. I mean, I went to that as a, the first place I saw Highland dancers actually before I even danced myself at 13 years old was um, at the New Brunswick Highland Games. So that's gone for years and years and years. So that is kind of the number one fabulous, you know, New Brunswick event to go to. Although that said, the Moncton Highland Games are absolutely <laughs> wonderful. And I mean, so great to have like, you know, big events like that i mean there's certainly lots of dance competitions but they're often more uh, closed and you know there's not a lot of general public just showing up but the highland games reaches such a wide wide audience which is wonderful yeah and it's a good way for young dancers or you know would-be dancers to uh to see what's happening and see what it's all absolutely about. fantastic well, thank you so much, Tafalev Gamod, uh, for joining us uh, to talk about the book and read aloud from it. And uh, we're just so pleased uh, to be able to publish this book uh, in Scottish Gaelic translation as Mor Hupisht Ekne Gaelach.
And we want to give some special recognition to Natasha Pilot for her amazing illustrations. They are just the cutest thing ever. I they're love so, yes, They're so full of energy. And the, the sheep, especially, have so much <laughs> personality. So we, they're really captivating. And uh, so it's been a real pleasure uh, for Braden Press to work on this book. Uh, uh, featuring uh, your work and Natasha's work. And of course, we had a wonderful time working with our translator, Morgan McNeil, uh, who we also had the privilege of working with uh, for our Anne of Green Gables Gaelic translation and also for our translation of The Paper Bag Princess. So, Riel, you are in very good company with Robert Munch and Ellen Montgomery, uh, and uh, we're just uh, we're just so happy because there is so much talent here in the Maritimes and in Canada, and it's been great to have the international collaboration with our translator too, and uh, we also recognize uh, the Gaelic Books Council, which uh, gave us a grant. Uh, we applied for a grant for this book, and they generously awarded it to us and so that has uh, helped to make this possible too so well thank you again so thank you very much um it's wonderful to see the translation of the book i absolutely love it it wasn't anything i expected uh, but yeah it's really really neat to see so thanks very much um to you and to Braden press and the translator and yeah it's lovely thank you thank you canadian original absolutely Thank you.